Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I am the Blu-ray collector, although I don't only collect Blu-rays nowadays. Uh, my channel started off as a Blu-ray collecting channel, um, but it quickly evolved into um, a manga tube channel as well. And now I have a bunch of subscribers that are into manga. Probably more so of my subscribers are now here for the manga than the Blu-rays to be honest. But but um, I actually also want to expand even a little further and introduce more figures into my channel. As you guys can see here, I have my Kurama Funko Pop who is in the back of most of my videos that I record down here in my office. But um, yeah, I don't want this first portion of the video to take up too much of the video. I do kind of want to go into my shop with me part of the video. Um, but I just wanted to ask, what do you guys think about me sort of rebranding my channel um, in the past? I have asked my Instagram, I put a poll up on my Instagram, but at the time I had like less than 50 followers. I don't really have too many followers now, but that's fine. I, Instagram is just kind of like a fun thing that I wanted to try out. Um, but if you guys do want to check out my Instagram, I post a bunch of stuff there. Uh, mainly I've been doing a bunch of these challenges that people post on Instagram that are really fun. Uh, this month I am doing the March Manly Manga Challenge that was um, sort of introduced by meet the weeb family which if you guys haven't followed him definitely check him out as well um he does have a youtube channel as well as that instagram but he seems like a great guy he's always um posting he's really active on instagram and on youtube um he does post videos uh not quite as often as he does on instagram but when he does post them uh, they're great banter back and forth between him, his daughter, and his wife. They all read manga, hence why they're called the Weeb Family. Um, but yeah, definitely check him out. Cool guy. Man, I feel like I'm going all over the place. Where was I? Right. So yeah, I put a post on my Instagram kind of asking what they thought about different names. But I didn't get any response at the time. So I thought I'd ask here on YouTube where I have a much bigger following. Um... So what do you guys think? Um, I have four names that I'm kind of throwing around right now. Uh, the first one, uh, which might possibly be my favorite one, is Media X Hunter um, or Media Hunter. Um, if you guys didn't catch that, it's kind of Hunter X Hunter themed, which is why I love it so much because Hunter Hunter is my favorite anime of all time. Uh, some people pronounce the X, some people don't. I sometimes pronounce it, sometimes don't. So however you want to say it, it's cool with me. I like it both ways. But yeah, Media X Hunter. Um, so if I choose this name, it will take care of the manga and Blu-rays that I collect um, because those are both media, types of media. Um, however, if I do want to start to incorporate figures, figures is no longer incorporated in that, re in that name. So it wouldn't work out very well in the future once I start making more videos with figures. Um, which is a shame because I really did love that name. If you guys can think of any other Hunter x Hunter themed names, definitely let me know. Um, so yeah, that one is my favorite one, but it doesn't encompass everything that I want to collect or share in this YouTube channel. Uh, the other one was the Tactical Collector. Um, I like this one because I usually try to buy things when they're on sale and uh, tactical, some synonyms for tactical are calculated, well-planned, smart, and I have a lot of different methods that I use when buying stuff that uh, sometimes make it so that I either pay nothing or sometimes I even make money out of stuff that I'm actually purchasing. Um, I do have a video planned sharing some of those tactics, so I'll share that with you guys in the near future. But yeah, Tactical Collector, I like that name as well. And that one isn't isn't only tied to media, so I could use that one even if I start collecting figures. Um, although with the figures, I don't really see how I can be too tactical with them because a lot of the ones that I want to get are pretty expensive. So um, I just kind of have to get them while they're available. Um, the third name is Elite Collector. I think that one sounds pretty cool. Um, elite, uh, some synonyms for elite are exclusive, top notch, and the best, which I mean, I do try to collect a lot of the more premium items. If you guys notice with my Blu-rays, I try and collect steel books, limited editions, premium editions, all that type of stuff. So I think elite collector kind of fits with my channel. Um, and then as well as for the manga, I mean, I collect all manga, but whenever I do get those nice hardcover and deluxe editions, I love those things. So, uh, yeah. 
And then as far as the figures go, um, a lot of the ones that I'm planning to get um, are the resin figures. So those are really nice figures that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys in the future. Uh, so I think Elite will definitely fit with those figures that I'm planning to pick up as well. Um, and then finally, the last uh, sort of name that I'm kind of throwing around is the Inclusive Collector. Um, but you know what, as I'm recording this, I think that one might actually be my least favorite now that I hear it. It just doesn't sound as cool as the other ones, but the reason I was kind of throwing it around is because um, inclusive means all encompassing. Uh, so that would also take care of everything that I plan to sh share with my channel. And I can even expand into other things if I ever wanna collect more things in the future that aren't manga figures or Blu-rays. Um, so yeah. For now, I think that's my least favorite, so I've kind of decided just now while recording this that I'll kind of throw that one away. But if you guys like it, let me know. I did kind of want your guys' help with deciding what to rebrand since uh, you guys are the ones watching my videos and I'd like to hear what your opinions are. Um, but yeah, going back to that actually, um, since you guys are my viewers, how would you guys actually feel about incorporating uh, figures into my channel? Uh, would you guys welcome that or maybe perhaps I can just create a second channel uh, where I just exclusively focus on figures. Uh, that would actually make it a lot easier because if that was the case then I could just choose Media Hunter or Media X Hunter and create a second channel and just call that one Figure Hunter or Figure X Hunter, however you want to say it. Uh, so if you guys think I should just do that, let me know. It would make it easier for me and I could just have a second channel for figures. Although I also didn't want to do that because I kind of just wanted to keep one channel for everything that I collect. Uh, that was kind of my goal with YouTube is to just share my love for collecting. But if you guys think it's too much introducing figures, let me know and I'll just create a second channel. Um, but all right, I think that's enough with the rebrand. Just let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And yeah, based on the feedback that I get on this video, um, I might be doing a rebrand. Definitely by the end of this month, I am planning on changing my name. Um, but all right, now let's go into the shop with me portion of the video. Uh, so I, I ended up this past weekend, my wife, my wife and my sister-in-law, uh, we ended up going to our local, not quite local because it was an hour away, but um, I had been wanting to check out Akino Kunia. I've seen a lot of people go to Akino Kunia, which if you guys don't know, uh, this is just a store that sells a bunch of Japanese manga as well as English manga. But uh, primarily, I wanted to go and check out the Japanese manga because um, I don't know, I've seen a couple of people pick up some, some Japanese manga and I think they look pretty cool with their Japanese text on there. And specifically, uh, there was one series that I wanted to pick up um, and I I blame my manga academia for this. Uh, he posted a video a couple of months back where he picked up the quintessential quintuplets uh, full color edition. Uh, it wasn't Japanese, but all of the manga was in full color, which I thought looked amazing. And um, I wanted to go check out Kino Kunia to see if I could find that. And uh, he also picked up these character books, which was another thing that I um, really wanted to pick up. Uh, so yeah, I was able to get some footage while I was in the store. So I'm gonna share you guys with that now and then, and then we'll come back and I'll show you guys what I ended up picking up.
right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that footage. Um, it was definitely fun going into a store and shopping for manga physically. Uh, that was the first time I've ever done that. Um, I just personally never saw the point of going to buy manga physically because I always just get a much better price on right stuff. So yeah, uh, but going into Kino Kunya was a lot of fun. Um, I don't think I'll be going again because again, physical manga just going to a physical store is always much more expensive and also unfortunately I wasn't able to find what I was looking for um, but after I went to Kino Kunya I saw this bag and there was a I saw that there was a website so I don't know why I didn't think of this in the first place but I went online checked out the website and I was able to find those manga that I was looking for. So I did order them online and I will, so they will be arriving here in the future. Um, hopefully by March, but I think it might take a while because I think they might actually come from Japan. Um, but yeah, since I can find them, if I ever find another Japanese manga that I'm looking for, I'll probably just go online, search for it here and purchase it directly from the site instead of going an hour away to go try and see if they have it available at a physical Kino Kunia store. Um, but I did pick at least one manga up. I went, I went all that way so I definitely wasn't going to come back empty handed and I searched around. I wanted to pick up a volume one of some of my favorite series at least. Um, either a Hunter Hunter, Attack on Titan, uh, even they did have the original quintessential quintuplets but it wasn't the color edition so if I could have found, if I maybe found a volume one, I maybe would have picked it up. Um, but in the end, I wasn't able to find a volume one of any of my favorite series. Uh, so in the end, I ended up picking up Attack on Titan volume 11. And uh, the reason I picked this one up was because it actually made the most sense for me. I actually have the Colossal Editions, so I don't get any of these awesome covers that the singles had. Uh, so I searched through all of the available Attack on Titan mangas that they had there, and I chose my favorite cover amongst all of those, and that happened to be this Volume 11. Uh, we have Eren here versus um, Rainer in their Titan forms, and I just think it looks really awesome. Here's a closer look for you guys. And another cool thing is that I really actually like how the spines look in the in these Attack on Titan singles. They look much better than the singles that uh, we get released here in the West. I think the backs are the same, but um, also I actually really like how this text looks here. The Japanese text also looks much, much better than the English text. Uh, so yeah, picked up this volume of Attack on Titan. I'm happy with my purchase. Um, I do need to find somewhere where I'm probably going to display this. Uh, maybe once I get some figures in, I might display it next to uh, some of the figures that I have because I have pre-ordered some Attack on Titan figures. Uh, so yeah, that was it. Uh, this is the only item that I picked up. Uh, so sorry if you guys were expecting a huge haul like my usual videos, but nope. Uh, for this one, just, just one single volume. And I am going to keep it sealed because I really don't see a purpose of opening this one up since I don't know how to read Japanese and I already have the Colossal Editions. Uh, so yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. Uh, more of it probably took up my rebrand stuff, but yeah, definitely let me know your thoughts. I'd really appreciate um, um, anyone's input. Anyone who's watching this video, just please provide some input down below. I'd like to know what your opinions are. And yeah, if you guys haven't subscribed, don't forget to like, subscribe, and yeah, look forward to my future content.